Hey guys, Will Park with IntoMobile.com. We're gonna we're going on day two with our iPad right now. Um, day one being April third. It's April fourth. Happy Easter. Yes, yes. And day two with our iPad. Um, wanted to show you guys a quick little demo of how what it's like, what it takes to pair a Bluetooth wireless Bluetooth keyboard with your iPad. Here's my keyboard. This is my iPad. It's hanging out in its nifty little spec neoprene sleeve, nice and textured, picked this up on launch day. Um, it's good for, you know, just carrying around the house, got a little handle and whatever. Um, just to make sure you don't bang it or, you know, drop it. Oh no, that would suck. But, so, okay, here's the iPad. And what Apple said was like, oh, well, we're not going to give it to you on the iPhone, but buy an iPad and what we'll do is we'll let you use a Bluetooth wireless keyboard to write really long messages and emails, stuff like that. And uh, you can even use you're already existing, the one, uh, if you happen to own one, a brushed aluminum Apple Blue, Bluetooth keyboard there. And uh, I'm just going to show you what it takes to actually go ahead and pair a Bluetooth keyboard with your iPad. So you go into settings. That was the home screen, by the way. You know, I've already got a couple apps, nice little, quick little flicking gestures, as, just like on the iPhone, really easy to use. You're going into settings, and you're going to want to make sure you're in general. And in general, well, makes sense, right? Bluetooth, bam. Click Bluetooth. It's going to be default on off. You're just going to click on and let it go into this orientation. It's going to start searching for stuff. And boom, I think it already found the keyboard. Just want to make sure the keyboard is on. Green light says, yes, hi, I'm on. I'm just going to click it just to make sure that it's transmitting. And, uh, okay, here's the keyboard, right? Oh, well, how am I going to pair with him? He's not paired yet, but I'll just click it like that. Pair with it. Oh, well, before I pair, it's going to ask me to enter 166831 on the keyboard. 166831. And then, enter. As soon as I do enter, the not paired changed from not paired to connected there, and boom, you are connected. That ding was not, that was my Nexus one, that was not the iPad dinging. And uh, if you want later, you can forget this device, but why would you do that? Because now you're paired. Now, we can go into stuff like, say, email. And in email, I'm going to just compose a brand new email. I'm going to send one. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'll just send one to myself. You're going to probably be typing in this orientation here. Um, just want to show you what that looks like. Let's go and zoom in a little bit right there. OK, so I'm just going to send an email to myself saying will at intomobile.com. Just going to tab it out. Oh. Nope, go back to subject and say, well, hello, iPad. Nope, well, that's not right. Should be capital P, right? Okay, trademark and all that. So, well, just to show you guys, this is largely dependent on your own typing speeds, but hello, iPad. How are you today? Happy Easter. I like typing on my Apple Bluetooth, well, that should be capital as well, Bluetooth keyboard. Wireless keyboards are cool. Sent from me to me, bam, that didn't take very long at all because it's a physical keyboard. I could have done that, you know, with the on-screen keyboard, it would have popped up right here, but that's much, much faster. And bam, there we go. So that's a quick little look at using a Bluetooth keyboard like your Apple uh, brushed aluminum Bluetooth keyboard, wireless keyboard with your iPad.